Hi guys, how you doing? It's the Kiwi here with hopefully another educational video on what it's like to become a man or the best possible version of yourself. But anyway, first and foremost, again, I know I keep on saying this and I, re I say it because I actually really sincerely mean it. And that is thank you so much to all of you for the the viewership and the positive comments that you're leaving below and the thumbs ups. I mean, it's absolutely blowing me away. I am, I am truly humbled by it. I really am. Um, I feel like personally that I'm just a messenger to help you guys along the way. Um, and like I said in previous videos, I've, I'm through this process, like really through this process, a long ways away through it. I'm actually, what I would say, literally at the end of it where I just feel an incredible amount of just peace and tranquility inside of myself. And I have no desire or need to have a woman in my life um, every once in a while I might have a little bit of fun with one but as far as having one rule my life and control my life I have no need for that in any way shape or form but anyway that being said um, this video as the title says is there is actually a book out there on being a MGTO. Now remember when I said earlier on in another another one of my videos about male biology and becoming a MGTO, okay? Well that video was actually based on the information from from this book that I that I have read. And I've had this book for wow. Um Jesus. 13 years, 12 13 years now. And I've most probably read it near two dozen times. Um, and you also, in other videos, hear me talking about how this journey has been written about in Greek mythology and in other cultures for thousands of years. Even, even you know, the path that Jesus took was actually the path of a man going his own way. But in, you know, modern day religion, it's just taught incorrectly. And it actually is taught incorrectly. But anyway, this book has been an incredible servant to me. This book has allowed me to actually follow my path as I became the man that you see sitting before you right now. This book allowed me to see how I was progressing in my process to get to the point that I'm at right now. And it it's really it was it was amazing because I really was able to actually see the process that I was going through to actually get to the point that I'm at right now. And it's freaking amazing that there is actually a book out there about this journey. And this is the book right here. It's called Iron John. It's, <clears throat> it's a book, as it says, a book about men. And it's written by a modern day poet called Robert Bly. Now, the story Iron John is actually a story by the Brothers Grimm, okay? And that story was based on ancient stories of men and how they became men. And what Robert Bly does is be, it's really interesting because the story Iron John is actually written in parables. And... It is the ancient writings of old. But what Robert Bly does is he breaks it down into modern day language so you can actually understand it. And 
when you actually read a book like this, you actually, when you understand, start seeing how people used to write in ancient times, you start to see how other texts that are taught to us that were written thousands of years ago, how they are misinterpreted today. And when you see how everything is misinterpreted today, you start to see how fucked up everything is and the reasons why. The interesting thing is, is obvious, I'd be interested to see how many people have heard of this book. It was put in front of me by uh, the lady that I was doing my actual um, therapy with, my soul therapy with when I was going through my divorce. She put me in, in touch with this book. She actually brought me my first copy of it, which I gave to another friend, and I actually purchased this book um, soon after I'd given the other book away. And I've never, ever given this book to anybody. This book has been beside me for the, literally the past 13, 14 years, 13, yeah, 13 to 14 years. So it's, it's an important part of my life because what it allowed me to do, as I said, it allowed me to follow my path. It allowed me to see where I was in regards to my progress. It allowed me to analyze myself. And the other thing that it did is it brought me peace. Whenever I read this book, it brought me a huge amount of peace inside of myself. And the reason behind that was I started to realize that I was walking the path of millions of men before me. Because when you start reading the ancient text in this book that Robert Bly breaks down, what you start to realize is that men have been going down this path for thousands of years. And it's actually a heroic path for men to go down. This path to become a MGTOW, to become a man going his own way, and getting to that point where he does not need a woman, is by far the most empowering thing that any male can actually do. If it wasn't, it wouldn't have been documented for thousands of years. Think about it. How long has feminism been documented for? My point is this. The male path to become a man is, the ancient, is an ancient rite of passage. It really truly is. No matter how much hardship you might think you're going through right now, what you're going through is a gift, an absolute gift for you to become the best possible example of yourself. And this is by no means an accident. This has all been pre-planned by some higher whatever's in charge of this little blue marble in space. This is not happening by accident. Man are waking up to the truth of themselves. And I've been telling people this for many years now, that there has been a huge truth bomb being dropped on the planet. That's why you're seeing what you're seeing. That's why you're seeing all this information coming out. That's why you're seeing people like Edward Snowden showing the world what the NSA was doing. That's why you're seeing, you know, social media erupting with, you know, Act the actual truth behind news and news articles. You know, that's why mainstream media is dying off because people are learning not to be controlled by this stuff. Because as I said in an earlier video, you were born with free will. Okay? And this book, this book here, this is literally, and I really truly do mean, this is literally a guide for you. This is by far, this book was ahead of its time when it came out because this came, this book came out in the 80s and this is like a, a second, second reprinting of it. I am in no way affiliated with Robert Bly either. Um, this is a service that I'm doing for you, the viewer. And this is a book that should be, should, that every man 
or every young boy should be given and told to read. If you buy this book and you have sons or grandsons, you need to have them read this book. You need to do the world a service and initiate more men into becoming men. So that's what this video was about. It was about bringing to your attention one of the greatest pieces of literature in today's modern time for you, the man who is going his own way. So I hope this has helped. It sure as hell helped me. It really, really did. It honestly did. I, if one of my greatest, well, how do I word this? One of the things I really love to do would to be actually would be to be able to meet Robert Bly in person, give him a hug, and let him know just how much this book and his writings helped me and brought me to where I am today. And my job is because he helped me get to where I am today through his writings, so it must be that I help you get to where you need to be in your life. So with that being said, have a great day, have a great evening, have a great weekend. Whatever is in front of you, make it the best that it can possibly be.